hello everyone welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome to my returning viewers i absolutely appreciate you on today's menu i'll be baking up this delicious super quick and easy plat bread you'll absolutely love let's get started so here I have some warm water to this. I'm going to add some sugar and some yeast. I'm going to give it a good mix and set aside to proof, making sure the yeast is good. This will take anywhere from about um, 8 to 10 minutes, depending on the temperature of your house. Once your yeast is good, it should be looking like this, nice and foamy. Here I have my flour, so I'm going to go in with some salt, give it a good mix. And I'm going to go in with that yeast mixture. And I'm going to start mixing to form a nice soft dough. But halfway in, I'm just going to go ahead and add me some softened butter. That's going to give this bread delicious texture and flavor, making it nice and buttery. You want to make sure that the butter is nice and soft so it's easy to mix in. So once that's fully combined in, you're going to go ahead and turn the dough out on your work surface. And you're going to knead this for about 8 to 10 minutes making the dough nice and soft and stretchy if you're using your hand mixer you could mix this on high for about eight minutes and that should be good once the dough comes together nice and soft we're going to grease our bowl add the dough back in and allow this to double in size however long it takes and this particular day it took me about two hours because it was super cold here where i am so it took me a long time to rise but allow this to double in size before moving on to the next step now the dough is ready i'm going to turn it out onto my work surface and i'm going to make two loaves so i'm going to divide this in half and then divide the half in three segments which is which is what we're going to use to make our braids of course you could just make a loaf and make this into a loaf of bread if you don't want to um make braids or whatever but i wanted to try these braiding techniques so i'm just going to go ahead divide my half into three and i'm going to roll these into some log and i'm going to braid them down These do not have to be perfect, so make sure you have a lined pan that you're going to be using. Then you're going to go ahead and start braiding. I like to start braiding in the middle from one end to the other and then starting from the other end, um, going back down the other way. So we have a nice even braid. Braid this however you can. It doesn't have to be fancy. Do the best you can. As I mentioned, I'll be doing two. So here I am doing the second one. So I start in the middle. Like I said before, I start in the middle and then I went on the other side and braid it down just to make for a more even braid. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just braid it and get it onto your baking sheet. Then you're going to allow this to double in size for another 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the temperature of your house. Your oven should be preheated to 350 and we're going to bake this for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes of baking, this is what our breads are looking like. It is smelling amazing. And of course, I'm going to go in with some softened butter, brush it on on top. And let me tell you, this was divine. It was nice warm. It was nice the next day. I served this up with some hot cocoa and some hockey and saltfish that I had left over. And let me tell you guys, this was amazing. If you like the video... Give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below and don't go away without hitting the subscribe button so you could know whenever I upload a brand new video. That's it my beautiful people. I thank you so very much for watching. Until then, I'll see you in my next one. Have a good day and enjoy.